unit, it's not running. Um, first of all, check to the end, we did have any power at the um, control circuit. The first thing we were checking for was when the pressure switch was made. And when you check the solid valve, it feels warm, so we know that should be open. Um, and then we've got no power on the control circuit, so then we've gone to the contact and checked that we've got no power coming in. So we've checked the breaker in the panel and that was off. So we've reset that. We've got the amp meter on there and we're just about to turn it on and see what it does. Six amps, it's a 25 amp breaker, so I don't know. We've got it for a bit, see what it does. Depends on the speed control, so that should kick in a bit. Seven amps on the yellow face. Six point seven on the blue. Seven point six point nine point eight on that one. Took them out of it. Setting them until it tripped again, but I stated it to be in this compressor. So I'm, basically, it seems to have died while I was here working on the one. And, uh, that so uh, we'll have a look at this and see what, um, what's gone on with it. the breaker and turn it on and see what it does. Well, I think the compressor's uh, something has gone along with that. Right, so the moment of truth. I think it's all going to go quiet. Yeah, it's definitely looking something's gone wrong inside that. Tries to run. I think something mechanical has gone wrong in the windings. It's probably. It's fine, it's not trying to run the early catches. It's not going to be the fan motors, I don't think, but we'll, um, I think we'll disconnect the compressor and then just try it with the fans. I mean, they're probably not even on there with a speed control. Right, I've had a 
one of the wholesalers. Um, nobody's got one of these in stock as a brand new one. They're all special order from Copeland. Um, I even tried getting a whole condensing unit. So I thought this is probably 20 plus years old. Uh, K Reg 94, I think that is. So, um, 22 year old. I thought we'd put a whole new condensing unit on it. But there's, nobody's got those in stock either, a special order. So, um, I've got a brand new hermetic compressor coming. So I'll have to redo the pipe work. It would have been much easier just to be able to bolt one on. That's, that's the uh, plan. It's Catch 22, nobody fits these. Well, the one they're expensive, but if you haven't got them in stock, you're not going to keep selling them. Which is a shame if you had them on the shelf like they should do, really. Um, just unbolt it, bolt a new one in, you're, you're off again. You know, if you've got a nationwide wholesaler and they haven't got one of these in stock, it's um, again, I'm moaning against sign of the times. Obviously, can't afford to have thousands of pounds worth of compressor sat lying about on the off chance that somebody wants one. Anyway, we're going to get all gas took out of this. Um, Get it ready to go really, then we're going to have to t come back, re-pipe it all. Um, we'll have to put a plate across here so we can bolt the new compressor on because this, this will be too wide. Um, and we'll have to put an electrics box on here somewhere so we can join all the fan motors and the pressure switches in. I'll see if I can get as much done today as I can. Pulling um, out of the uh, barrel under the seaweed to start with, we'll probably get some liquid out of there. Yeah, this liquid that'll go in quicker, and then um, once uh, the pressure's dropped a bit, we'll open up the suction connection and pull it out of both sides of the system. We should have about 11 kilos in there, I think, so we might get 10 and a half out of it. always have about half a kilo or something on the system this size just to bring all the pipe work up to zero from the vacuum and you never get that out of the recovery machine. Just getting down into a vacuum. Windings look quite crispy. I'm not sure whether that's um, wear metal, actually. I think that might be um, where they've got really hot. So, uh, that's not helped. Okay, so the other one of these I had where they failed, they'd lost a phase. And uh, it'd been running lumpy, and I wonder whether, if this, with the other unit having tripped the breaker out, whether it lost a phase. And 
this has been running on two phases and run lumpy. That was a similar failure, I don't know with the other one, um, what came first, whether they're running on uh, losing a phase with the other one um, came first or whether um, that or a splash of failing. But that certainly just sort of was failed in there, that's why it was getting increasingly noisy, that crack must have been getting bigger.